Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to share with you guys a few simple tricks which you can apply to your Windows computer that will spice up your desktop game. And at the end of the day, I hope it will make your desktop look a bit cooler. And by the way, if you are new here, then make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel as well. And if you are interested in my current wallpaper, then make sure that you check out the first link in the video description down below. Hello. First thing which you want to do is to open the Microsoft Store. Now, once here, Microsoft Store is a place where you can find many of useful applications and one of them is called Translucent TB. So here, if you search for the Translucent TB or even the T, for example, then you will see here Translucent TB app. Here, you will click on get to install this application. And once this is done, you will click on open on the Microsoft Store and here you will find welcome to translucent tb welcome screen here click continue and now you will see this notification that translucent tb lives inside the system tray and here we can also see this icon now what i recommend is that you select this desktop mode here to the clear and then if you want you can also customize all these options here as well to your preferences this is pretty much it for the taskbar but now you can also see that you cannot clearly see the indicators here down below the open application which are currently in black color as well as the system tray icons are also here in the black so we will need to change the color of all these things here so we will need to right click on the system tray, click on the taskbar settings right like so, and then we will go here to the personalization. Now here we will go to the colors and now we will need to change this option here, the windows color to the dark or either you will select here custom and change this light option to the dark like this. And now we can clearly see the icons here down below and also the opened applications also have this clear indicator below them. So this is pretty much it for our taskbar. And now we can also move to the wallpapers. Now I usually get my static wallpapers from the unsplash.com from this wallpaper section. You can just pick whichever wallpaper you like and then based on this static wallpaper we will apply live wallpaper later in the video. Here I will go with this one right here. Now we can also see here that it's in in vertical mode so I will go to this person who created this image and then I will go to this image which is in the horizontal position and on the top I will select here download free to get this image now here you will click on this folder icon and then we already have here the option to set it as our background and now we can easily see the wallpaper right here now once this is done we can go and move on to the widgets now let's search for the rainmeter.net website which is the official website of the rainmeter desktop customization tool and now let's here click on this blue download button to get the installer file click on it and once this is done you can click ok here next here and then you will press install here and finish here on the last screen of the installer now once this is done we can search for two of the popular rain meter skins the first one is called mont and we will go to this website which is called visualskins.com i will also put a link in the video description for it for all of the required files which you will need for this exact desktop setup here you will click on this blue download button to get this skin and once on this website we can also search here for the mii power rain meter skin so this is the one which we are going to install as well now once this is done we can minimize our browser window and go to our downloads folder now once here you will double left click on the mont file and then you will click on the install click on the close settings here and now we have here a few of the presets of the mont widget pack now here I want only to have this skin on the top so I will put it somewhere here and if you don't want any of other mont skins you will basically right click on them and then click on the unload skin even on this dot as well and now we are left with this skin right here. Now the one thing is that I don't like 
the date here and the clock because we already have the date and the clock here in the system tray so what i will do is to customize this widget even further so right click on it and then you will select here edit the skin down below we will need to remove a few of the parameters so the first one is called meter date this one should be gone as well as the meter 12 hour clock as well as the meter 24 hour clock so we are left only with the meter day here now the one important thing here to say is that if you want to scale down or scale up this widget you will need to change this value here as well so in my case for my taste this widget is a bit too small so i will put here 1.35 and then you can go here to the file and click on the save here and you can then close this configuration program now let's right click on the widget and then let's click on the refresh and now we have here the mond rain meter skin and once this is done we can then go to our downloads folder and then open the mii power rain meter skin and then just install it like so now you can see that nothing actually new appeared on your desktop so you will need to go here to the system tray then you will double left click on the rain meter icon here then go to the MII power, click on the power here. Inside the folder, we have two options. First one is called B, and this one is basically black version. And the second one is W, and this one is white version. And the one which you like, you will double left press and you will see the skin should appear on your screen. I will place it somewhere here down below. And now we can move on to our web browser. And here I will search for another skin, which is called Jack's core now we can move on here to the github.com and down below let's go here to the releases and click on .rm skin and then click on the .rm skin file and then here we will press install once this is done we can click here skip this tutorial which should be down below get started button click on the library here and we will install one skin which is called modular players so this is basically a music player for our desktop so here on the top right you will click on this green download arrow and this should install this skin for us once this is done we can toggle this option to on to enable the skin you also have here general options where you can pick whichever style you prefer i will go with this windows 11 option here and now you should also see the widget appear on the top left of your screen now once this is done you will go here to the style options select the widget scale here i prefer this widget to be a bit more smaller so i will insert here 0.75 value and then for the rounding i will select here standard now for the background color i will change this from triple zeros to triple 255 and this is pretty much it for this skin i will place it somewhere here in the middle and then if you want to align it you will right click on it and then here select the align option and put this one to horizontally centered and this is pretty much it for the widgets now let's move on to the live wallpaper which you can basically get from the microsoft store as well so here you will search for the lively wallpaper and then select here lively wallpaper app click on get here to install this application and meanwhile this is downloading and installing we can go to the web browser and search for the lively wallpaper snow press on enter and then we will need to go to this github page all the required links i will also link in the video description right below the like button by the way once on this website navigate to the releases right here and then you will click on this dot zip file and there is basically no need to unzip this file because we will just import it inside the lively wallpaper app once installed now once you have the lively wallpaper app installed you should see a screen which looks something like this and then on the top you will see a button called add wallpaper now let's click on it and here you will choose a file click on open here and now we will basically need to find that zip file which is called snow 
underscore v1 click on this and click on open here and the lively wallpaper should automatically add this wallpaper inside its collection now once this is done you can click on it to apply the wallpaper to the desktop and if you want you can also customize it even further by clicking on this three dots right here and then you will click on the customize now here you have the layers which will increase the density of the snow you can also increase the speed so if you want to snow a bit faster you can also increase the speed here and the important thing is here that we change here the background to the our image which we got from the unsplash so here we will click on this icon here and then we will need to select previously downloaded wallpaper click on open here and now you can also see the immediate changes on our wallpaper and then i will disable the parallax by putting to zero and also i will decrease the blur intensity to 0.2 20. Now, if you have a laptop, I highly suggest that you leave 30 FPS option turned on. Or if you have a desktop like me right now, I will uncheck this option and the wallpaper should be in 60 frames per second. Now, once this is done, you will click on OK and close the wa Lively Wallpaper app. And you should also see a message that the Lively Wallpaper app will live inside your system tray and this is pretty much it for this tutorial and with that said thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel as well if you are interested in my wallpaper pack then you can also check out the first link in the video description and all the required files or at least all the links for the required files will be linked in the video description down below thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video